Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, it's going to be me and Ness versus Great Kagan at KG in Bredenburg 74. Alright, now, without further ado, let's go jump straight into it, but of course, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification to all notification, so that you're not gonna miss an upload or stream from my channel. Let's go. Okay, map is Area of Scavengers. And I'm going to be the blue player. My partner Ness will be the green player. So we're going to have to fast forward a bit. We're going to have to gather those containers. Scouting boost. Okay. And five supply centers going for an HQ level 3. I'm going to go ahead and try and gather these. But that's not going to be beneficial anymore. I no longer need to gather it. There are hawks. Scout by my partner. Seven Supply. Hawk. JCP. Alright. Or Jaggers. Partner. Having trouble with the Hawks right now. But the anti air will finish on time. Going for a scout right here. Two vehicle factories right there. Okay. So the anti air finished, and then those Hawks are suddenly zoned out. Because there's just one anti-air against four hawks, so yeah. Mm. Very good. Going HQ level 4, Typhoon. Okay, bunkers around here to, of course, deny any form of scouting, or at least trying. Okay, and going fa vehicle factory level 2. Fast forward a bit. I have some Typhoons around here. More vehicle factory. I'm going full land army composition. While my partner will have a mixture of Zeus, Typhoon, Shield, and Vertex. Okay, oh my god. So this guy is very strong indeed. He actually fought my partner on equal terms, which is actually good. And my partner is not a half bad player. Alright, this guy is good as well. Okay. And now, going to over to my base. Sieging the uh, Typhoons above the cliff to gain high ground vision. I don't want to give out this uh, location right here. Although there's already a Jaguar from this guy, so I'm still just producing my Zeus. So this is a bad omen for me. I need to somewhat make my Zeus or my Typhoons live to see another day. Okay, so I'm going to have to retreat. Okay. Partner was actually good with the Vertex uh, encounter there. Okay. And now... Going a uh, three factory Zeus, second special vehicle factory for a shield, and the be uh, another special vehicle factory for a Typhoon. My partner going HQ level four, level two special vehicle factory with two anti air, two Zeus, and one Typhoon with two Vertex and more Vertex on the way. See now, red player going to try and scout me. Very good. I had some some of my Zeus so I go over here and of course guard my Typhoons to gain more high ground vision. Vertex are here to try and deny some scouting, although it my base has already been scouted. Okay, and positioning the Typhoons into a good location against those Hawks from the yellow player, which is uh well at this point he already has HQ level 4 at this time. Okay. So, more Zeus are now on the way, but this guy already has Chameleon, and I no longer, I don't have my shield, just now popped up. Okay, I'm going to have to retreat, but I have to sacrifice the high ground, which gives me a disadvantage. Again, Super Container appearing in the middle, and I'm not able to get it. I'm going to have to try and deny, or try, but I'm going to retreat, I only have 4 Zeus at the moment. Now going 7 Zeus because of 3 Zeus at a time from 3 Vehicle Factory. So I'm just going to wait patiently here. And wait for those uh, Jaguar and Chameleon. Maybe the, the Chameleon will not run out of energy or anything like that. Partner is chilling. 2nd Vehicle Factory on the way. 4 Vertex and a shield is not being produced. Along with... Wow. Okay. Is that a Flame Assault? Okay. Uh-huh, okay. Yellow player is also moving out with Jaguars. JCP2. Let's see. Okay, now those Hawks, he has a lot of Hawks. 
at least two AR field worth of ox and I'm using the uh, baiting the barracks uh, by those uh, Jaguars and now here goes I'm going to have to try and destroy those Jaguars from within the fog there's like a lot of Jaguars inside that fog above the cliff so yeah based on the uh, Jaguar salvo coming out of the fog they're actually at the edge of those uh, cliff just blocking the entrance and now he's going to retreat because he lost some Jaguars inside all right and yeah pretty much I did not lose any unit for that okay and now torrents are now gonna be made of course so it can fire above the cliff to help out with the defense and for me to take over the up high ground now avia factory will be produced or built of course partner is now going to deal with this jcp from the yellow player he has a shield six zeus or actually five zeus and a hammer okay now actually seven zeus that he has all right and here goes he's going to try and force fire flame assaults are going to well he, the flame assault did not jump although he is already near okay now i'm going to try and take over this clip right here of course gain the high ground but this guy is already in a very good position waiting for me around the cliff or above this cliff right here. And so again, those uh, hawks are now going to try and rain rampage. However, however, I lack the typhoon count and are currently engaging two armies at the same time. Okay, and I'm going to have to force fire my way onto those jaguars that are actually in a very good concave. Yep. And I'm going to ignore the chameleon because it's ultra imbalanced. That's just how it is. Alright, so I'm just killing the Jaguars inside the fog, not the Chameleon itself. Okay, I also placed the Scout right here in case the Yellow might try and come over at the side. Okay, so yeah, pretty much only 4 Jaguars that this guy already has, regardless if he has a Chameleon or not, because Chameleons are so imbalanced. It's too strong. So yeah. I just destroyed the Jaguars inside the fog without destroying the Chameleon itself. So yeah, Chameleon Imba. Okay, so I only have one shield. I'm not going to push through with this. However, I'm going to position my U Typhoons. However, the yellow player are actually revealed themselves right there. So that's a very bad omen for me. I need to go down the cliff yet again, but giving the red player a chance to also get over here and take over the cliff. So this prevents me from ab advancing further. Okay, let's see what my partner is doing. Just amassing the army. He has Zeus shield. Okay. And the lack of typhoons is very evident against the hawks. Two shield flame assaults. Vertex are now trying to help out. And I already have my Zeus in position right here. Okay. And, well, one of my torrent just want to be there for some reason. Yeah, again, I'm ignoring the Chameleon and straight up destroying the Jaguars inside the fog. And now those Jaguars so uh, went on, you know, they unsieged and now they sieged again. And ooh, wow, that's a lot of Jaguars from this guy. Eight Jaguars from the red. So basically, I'm trying to defend against two fronts right here. So yeah, I'm going to have to try and use the torrent to, of course, attack the uh, player, the red player from above the cliff. And use the Zeus to attack the yellow player from the side, below the cliff. Alright, so I'm just going to bulldoze my way around here. He has Chameleon, but I'm going to ignore it. Since Chameleons are so imbalanced, it's too strong. So yeah, using the Torrents. Okay, I'm using the Typhoons as a bait because the Jaguars by default are going to target the Typhoons before the Torrents. And there goes, just like that. Mm -hmm. This guy lost or bruised up a bunch of units although I lose I lost some torrents right there so that's a fair trade for the red player let's see how my partner is doing partner is doing very good however with the lack of anti-air typhoons he's not going to continue with this anymore those hawks are going to rain rampage and one hawk will die against one typhoon because it's badly bruised up okay and now again I'm just destroying the, the uh, jaguars that are inside the fog and ignoring the chameleon themselves because chameleons are so imbalanced. So more Zeus and torrents and typhoons of course against those hawks. And for some reason, this red player will now retreat once more because chameleons are too strong. 
Okay, now I really need to put some scout right here because I need to find out if the yellow will go ahead and sneak attack me from the side. Okay, so again, fast forward. Placing the units around here. JCP from the yellow getting that big container. So I don't know at this point how many big containers they got. Pretty much three. See here. Mm-hmm. Another big container. The third big container, I believe. Hawks are now here trying to damage my army. Fast forward again. Oh my goodness, so that's what that that's actually a good snipe. However, at the expense of two hawks. More anti-air being built from my partner. Okay, partner is doing pretty nicely, to be honest. Okay, he's holding well against the yellow. Okay. But most of the attention of the yellow are actually put onto me. Oh. Yeah. Just like what I said, it's on me. <laughs> okay, now I was trying to somehow um, yard hop all over to this place and place walls to avoid getting, you know, getting attacked by the yellow. However, the yellow player does not want that to happen. And I'm again, once more, going below the cliff. And I'm going to try and block this entrance right here to prevent the yellow player from going over here while the red is going to attack me with a huge chunk of jaguars right there. Okay, I left the typhoons there on purpose so to gain high ground vision. Okay, and again, I'm going to try and defend against two armies at the same time. Zeus in shield versus Jaguar Chameleon Porcupine attacking from two sides. Hmm, oh well. Man, that's a bunch of Jaguars right there, man. Gotta be honest, that's a lot of Jaguars. Okay, again, here goes the mayhem. Some of the Vertex are destroying the uh, Jaguars. And one ver uh, those Vertex actually sniped the Chameleon. And once more, the JCP army will now retreat since, of course, one JCP cannot cover the entire the entirety of those Jaguars on his own. And now there's only a handful of units from this yellow player. Of course, Jaguar Chameleon Porcupine Imba. Again, yellow player trying to attack here with a bunch of units, but not the full army since, of course, he has Hawks. And those Hawks are like trying to snipe a shield which failed, so they need a second run. And there goes the second run. Very nice job from the yellow. Okay, kudos to that guy. However, oh wow, very solid hit right there. Wow, wow. Okay, that's a huge chunk of fox dying in one shot. Okay, against four vertex, bunch of hawks. Yeah, and a bunch of hawk can't kill a shield one hit. Alright, again, this guy with a massive chunk. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, with a massive chunk of Jaguars, and here goes. I'm going to have my full army defend against the high ground. Basically, resistance has all the advantage here. Invisible units, high ground vision, and so on. High ground position, but still, JCP Imba. Okay. So, yes, I'm just going to try and snipe the chameleon, or no, not the chameleon, the units inside the fog. Okay, destroying the jaguars inside the fog and ignore the chameleon entirely. Although my shield ran out of energy, that's actually very bad for me. So, but still, those jaguars will retreat and I will too because those hawks do have, I do not have high ground vision to see the hawks firing. So that's very bad for me. I need a lot of Zeus right now, so I need to use a vehicle production boost. Okay, more Zeus on the way. Meanwhile, my partner doing good, adding more anti-air. You need another special vehicle factory. Okay, and here goes the Vertex trying to go ahead and give me high ground vision and support me. Okay, nothing really here crazy. Oh, come on, snipe that. Snipe that chameleon. All right, again, one Jaguar decided to, you know, mess up the fat finding of the red and die. Yeah. Oh, man, that's a nice cue from that Zeus. So, yes. Absolutely nice. Oh, and someone subscribed. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right, Starby, thank you so much. Quick shout out to you. All right, so, yeah. There goes those hawks. 
All right, although the shield is not active, so they are able to destroy a Zeus. And again, here goes the mayhem. A line of Jaguars that are already in position versus just me destroying the Jaguars inside the fog. Yeah. For some reason, the Chameleon died because it's beside the Jaguar. And my target was the Jaguar, not the Chameleon. Because of the explosion radius of the Zeus. And yeah, horns are only good for defense, so I'm using it for sieging. Oh, man. You know, I know someone said that horns are a joke of a siege unit, but yeah, I'm just using it, you know. And there it goes. Those jaguars are just going to retreat because those chameleon died because of the explosion radius of the Zeus trying to target the jaguars inside the fog. Vertex are here, trying to help out, however... Lack of micro, he is actually busy right here. Oh my goodness, a lot of those hawks just killed or one shot at a flame assault. That's impressive. Those uh the flame assault needs buff. It doesn't need to die against that many hawks. Oh and uh, my Zeus betrayed me, force firing on my shield. <laughs> I accidentally pushed that. Okay, let's see how my partner does. Fast forward again. Okay, Scout, level 5 HQ, 4 airfields for a total of 16 Hawks, housing 16 Hawks, although he only has one Avia Factory. This guy right here, wow, okay, a bunch of Jaguar from 3 Vehicle Factory, so he pretty much has the same build order as I have with the exception of 2 Special Vehicle Factory. Again, placing the Typhoons above the cliff to gain high ground vision, and of course, act as an anti-air. And again, that many hawks can't kill my shield. Alright. Although it killed one shield because it's already badly bruised up. Okay, and there's like a super container appearing right here. Vertex from my partner trying to help out. And, oh my god. Jaguars, a bunch of Jaguars are just going to be in range or get in range of my... Yeah, of my... <laughs> torrents. And again, yellow player is here going to try and attack me once more so it's going to be again two versus one i'm just going to hold out this army oh man that's a lot of hawks <laughs> okay and then this guy right here just went above the cliff and yeah again i'm just going to destroy the jaguars inside the fog and not the chameleon itself because you know chameleon zero counter so yeah destroying the jaguars inside from the uh yellow and now i'm going to force fire at the red okay and yes there it goes pretty much it and yeah the chameleon just died because i was force firing on the jaguars see i'm targeting the jaguars literally and i literally ignored the yellow player right here although i only have like a bench uh you know a handful of zeus because of course my zeus had already badly boosted up now, given the situation, my partner will take this time, or take this opportunity, to attack the yellow player while the army is at my side. And I already have a bunch of Zeus right here, which are just positioned right here in case the yellow attack. Alright, well, that's that. Oh man, did some fire assault just jump? Okay, never mind. Okay, going back onto my side where the action is going... I'll have to retreat, and those torrents are now going to die. And only three Jaguars left from this yellow player because Jaguars are so strong and so fast. Even in siege mode, yeah, they're so fast. So, yeah. Alright, so here goes my reinforcement, newly produced units. They're getting rid of my uh, Typhoons. That's actually a good job right there. And now, again, I'm just going to kill the Jaguars and ignore the Chameleon itself. And yeah, there it goes. Oh man, never mind that. My partner is doing very good right here. Yellow player is quite skilled as well, to be honest with you. The lack of anti-air is very evident from my partner. So basically speaking, he's ignoring the anti-air because it will target the shield instead of the Jaguar. Oh my goodness! Those vertex! Oh god, that's so painful to watch. Oh god. That is so painful. That is so hard to see. 
No, I cannot unsee that. <laughs> okay, my partner is doing phenomenal right here. However, I already got rid of both the armies of Jaguar, Chameleon, Porcupine from two players. Yes, you heard that right. Mm -hmm. One Zeus uh, shield and uh, Typhoon army versus two JCP from two players. And I won that exchange against on this high ground right here. So, yeah, too strong, Chameleon. It's just too strong, you know. Even ignore it. Just let it live. But it just still dies anyway. So, yes, again, my partner trying to put up the pressure around here by rallying his newly produced units all the way to the yellow player. And again, the red player is here. I will be placing the Typhoons above the cliff. So, pretty much, this red player is going to attack my partner from this side or destroy the rest of his army and attack at the same time and again i'll now take this opportunity to attack the red player and of course destroy his base once and for all because both of them are going to be destroyed anyway so yeah wall spamming okay that's actually a good delay tactic all right however i'm just going to ignore it as my zeus just pretty much one shots those walls okay by the way there's an update on the walls though so yeah that's why it's like that Okay, red player is like trying to somehow return to his base, but I no longer need those typhoons. Uh, he's not going above the cliffs, going over this narrow ridge, and I'm going to eat those factories for dinner, for lunch or whatever. Oh man, look at those! And not all my uh, typhoons are in range of those uh, hawks. And yeah, just going to force fire where the jaguars are headed, but suddenly. The, the chameleon died so yeah i was expecting the jaguars not the chameleon but still man oh well i think that's that partner is here to help out let's see how my partner is doing yellow player is defending very nicely here i have to say and yes man these two players are medalist man very good players Oh man, look at that chameleon. I'm just ignoring that because it's too strong. So I'll just destroy the HQ in his face. Yeah, there it goes. Destroying the HQ. Nicely done by my Zeus. Partner keeping the pressure, keeping the yellow player occupied. So the yellow player can only send the hawks to help. However, those many hawks cannot one hit kill a shield because they are hawks. And yeah, oh man. Not all my typhoons are in siege mode right now. Okay, so this red player is pretty much finished. GG for that. Partner is gathering the army around here. Uh-huh. Alright, well, oh my goodness. Okay, so the red player is going to try and attack from the side. Or is the yellow player going to attack me from the side? Okay, that's a very dangerous move out there, my friend. And there, there goes those fire assaults. Okay, let's see how the fire assault does. Because I don't need the fire assaults to, you know, to destroy the jaguars inside the fog. I don't need detection to destroy them anyway. So, yeah. There goes. And, basically, I think that's gonna be the beginning of the end for this red and ultra smart pack finding right there. Okay. So, yeah. Partner is here and doing very good so basically this partner of mine was actually rooting for against the yellow player he did very nicely and yeah i mean the yellow player is actually an absolute good player to be honest with you so he's a very good player however it's just sad that he chose the wrong faction so yeah he has a bunch of jaguars now oh my goodness there's a lot of jaguars from the side however those chameleon oh activated and yeah those hawks are getting rid of my army right here oh man that's a solid hit however of course they are hawks they're not able to snipe my shield in one shot although that's too less of a hawk you need at least 13 hawks to one shot a shield on a raid boost with an activated shield okay here it goes and then it will just steamroll from here and snowball against the yellow player and at this point in time, 
it will be clear as day as to who will win this battle. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, go on and smash the like button. And of course, turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. Might as well check out my previous videos as they contain tips and tricks that can actually help everyone become a better player and a better commander overall at this game. So yes, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and good luck with your battles. Mm, look at that chameleon in ba. Mm, ignore it. My part is my partner ignoring it? Yeah, partner Imba, Tracy Crab. All right, bye now. Uh, Jaguars are too fast. Jaguars too fast, too strong. Oh. Still not ending? Really? Victory. Okay. Bye.